What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Neo Scavenger, where we're gonna hang out for a little bit and see if we can live through the apocalypse. So our first save game got wiped out by Sea Cleaner, which it appears though the, as though the apocalyptic Sea Cleaner is far more powerful than any enemy we had faced previously. And the for, I guess in the last episode, we gotten ourselves blasted by a gun straight through our femoral artery and was we were killed instantly in one turn. A guy shot us from like 30 range and just instantly killed us. It's it's a downer. It upsets me, but you know what? I am going to complete this build and I am going to win or I am going to cry. I will just sit here and I will weep my face off and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Lock picking. We need an electrician. We have how many points do we have left? 6. That leaves us with, I'm doing the same build again until we have like a decent run of it. If we don't have a decent run of it, I consider the build untested. I needed to take... Not ranged. I mean, we could take ranged. It wouldn't be bad, but trapping. That's what I'm missing right now. There we go. So we've got our build all taken care of. We are going to fight the monster right here. The monster has been defeated. We will walk outside the building and let's get to scavenging because that is kind of the point of the game. I am going to turn this guy right here. There we go, into a coat, because that's what he gets for attacking me. I do this with all of my enemies. I am an equal opportunity coatist, so just be aware that if you attack me, I might convert you into a coat. It's a possibility. I don't want to get too Hannibal Lecter about the situation, but the warning had to be made, just in case, because there's always that guy who's going to test the theory. We searched our first mobile home and found nothing. We searched our second mobile home and found a stick and a broken bottle. That seems about right for the mobile home park. Broken bottle and a stick. Yep. Oh, and an old newspaper about Roid Rage. Troy Jupiter Group has been dealing with a month-long strike at its mine at Jupiter's L4 supercluster. The sometimes violent dispute has choked supplies to Earth that cost Troy Jupiter around $1.2 in revenue. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess... Oh, man, we got attacked by a dog again. All right, well, let's run away. We're going to do a desperate retreat. Typically, the dog doesn't really try to chase you or anything like that. I mean, it can, but if the dog wants that city all to itself, it can have that city. I don't mind. There's either a forest or a hill right there. I think it's a forest. Yeah, it's because the sun's not up yet. I figure, ooh, a shack in the woods. I think they nerfed the shacks in the woods, though, because I've been playing a little bit in between episodes, and, like, I never seem to get anything from shacks in the woods anymore. Like, ever. Like, seriously. Look, I got a, squ a squirrel snare with 1% condition left. All right. Well, maybe I can use it as a makeshift weapon in the worst case scenario. But like I said, I think they nerfed the hunter's cabins because, frankly, I don't see anything useful in them anymore. Like, I rarely, rarely, rarely... Hey, I caught a squirrel with my snare. That's pretty cool. A squirrel's corpse. <laughs> my god. All right, well, let's eat these edible berries real fast. Just to keep the edge off, I'm going to wield the squirrel corpse in my right hand. For I am the squirrel warrior. No one can stop me. You can make tannin tea out of botany. One fireproof container, one heat source. It looks like you need medical... Yeah, it looks like you need medical expertise to do that, though. I don't know where you get tannin from, either. I don't even know what tannin is, except for the beginning of the word tannin bomb, which is Christmas tree. Und tannin bomb, und tannin bomb. Something... Oh man, another dude with a gun? Come on. Sneaky retreat. All right. He might have a gun, but he can't see, he can't see where his shit, apparently. Apparently, he is afflicted with the same myopia that I am, or myopia. I never know how to say that word. I really should kind of, like, get that down, considering I always take it. The destroyed office bill. Oh, my God. Hello, supermarket. Wow, the condition is great on that thing, too. This supermarket has instantly become a cornucopia of amazing good things. Man, you're going to... That's the payoff. They're going to force me to wear khaki cargo pants. That's the payoff. I knew there was going to be some way I was going to pay for this. Which of these shirts is the best? There we go. Put that one on. Oh, we put on... Did we put on two shirts and a... Hold on. Did I just put on a shirt over a shirt? I didn't even know you could do that. Hold on. Take everything off. Get nude right now, character. I demand you get nude. So there's a t-shirt, and I'm allowed to put the other t-shirt over the top of it? That's weird. I've never seen that happen before. Hmm. That is very interesting. Please tell me more. Can I put on another one? How many t-shirts can I have on? A lot? It appears as though having multiple t-shirts is a thing that I can accomplish here. I'll take that trash bag. I'm wielding my squirrel in one hand. I suppose I could be a decent human being and put the squirrel in the bag. Although, you know. I'll put the rags in there. So we've got a pocket full of rags. That one's actually got 21%, so it's not doing too terrible either. Or too terribly, I guess. Oh, that one's got 99%? We'll take that one instead then. 
That bag's gonna last us a good long time, and then in our vehicle list, we can push that, which is gonna allow us to carry along all kinds of goodies with us without having to worry about it. I'm gonna throw maybe a... wait, what? Hmm, apparently the glass shard is too small and it falls through the holes. Alright, well things I hadn't considered. Touché, developer. Touché. I suppose we'll bring the string along, just because I always find that I need, like, string. Eventually, I always run into a situation where I need string. And it's the weirdest thing. And it makes me want to sing horrible, horrible songs with awful lyrics every single time it happens to me. No! The unstable ruins start falling as a result of your rummaging, and a portion of the roof collapses. You are cut and bruised by falling debris. Hooray! Am I bleeding, though? That's the only thing that I care about. Am I bleeding? Oh, shit, I am bleeding. Well, that's troublesome. We should probably figure out, like, some way to make this go away. Well, I got rags in my pocket, and we don't really have much of a choice. So I figure maybe just throw rags on them. I, this might not work out that great, but, you know, I don't really have a choice right now. I don't know why my pockets are disappearing as a result of... Everything else. Throw that on. Maybe it'll make us slightly warmer. Oh, it made us take off a t-shirt. Fine then, t-shirt. I don't want you to come along with me anyways on my awesome adventures. So I know some people are like, Splattercat, you should scavenge everything. This is exactly why you don't scavenge everything. If it's not safe, you shouldn't scavenge it because you'll fall. And now we've got multiple cuts we've got to deal with instead of just one. Either way, we're already pretty wounded, so I figure I'll just go for it. We got stuck in a hole and lost one of our turns. Funsies! There we go. So now... We've got a spacewalk left shoe. So I guess I'll put that on my foot. Got a banana t-shirt. I don't really want a banana t-shirt. Got a medium length of string and some more of that cloth. Let's go ahead and max out that stack real fast. Ooh, a water reset. Oh, it's actually got cornicola in it. Okay. So that might help out in a little bit. I mean, probably not much. We also have a lighter. Okay, so I'll bring the lighter too, just in case. Lighter is fairly valuable if you're not a character with trapping. If you don't have trapping, you kind of want to have a lighter. It makes your life easier. We don't need that many metal parts, I don't think. What I do need to do, however, right now, is let's rest for a second. No. We are going to end that turn. And instead of scavenging, we're going to take a second. I wanted to do something. Oh, yeah, I need to make lockpicks. There we go. Confirm the lock picking. We'll clear that out. There's our lock picks. Let me make sure that I put those on my person. By default, they don't go into your inventory, so keep that in mind. Sometimes it does not work the way that you want it to. Because I have a string, can I put... I want to put stuff on a string. It'll make me feel like I'm in the wasteland. Can I put this on my face? Oh, I can. I'm wearing a crude air filter. Hooray! I've got myself a little bandana face mask because I'm hard like that. On this side, we have a destroyed office building. I can use a lighter. Oh. It makes the safety go up. That's pretty cool. I guess the light source is what it counts as. I suppose we'll hike all over the hills, glens, and dales. And there's a guy with a spear, which is concerning. Stranger leader's left upper arm was cut. Well, good for him. I'm glad that he's been having awesome gym days, but I don't care how cut he is. Let's go back over here. And just add all those so that it's safer. Oh good, we got more stuff. We got another left boot. Hooray! I'm going to keep my spacewalk shoe. Because it's a little bit more useful. But we did get a Ravager multi-tool. It's almost broken, but it'll do alright for a little while. We've got a right-footed flippity flurp. So there it is. We've got a flippity flurp. Those fall off randomly though. So be aware. Actually, I'd rather take the long medium... Yeah, take the medium string instead. And then we'll get rid of the small string because I think it's not going to be as useful. I would also say to empty this out, maybe. Well, I don't know. It made me sweat, weirdly enough. Eh, I have a caffeine high, apparently. Probably won't be able to sleep, but you know what? It's fine. Alright, nothing there. We're going to continue to scavenge the lighter. I didn't even realize the lighter would help you scavenge better. Alright, so after a couple good runs right now... Ooh, we found a whiskey bottle. Okay, that's important because we can actually make our wounds a little bit... Ooh, clean rags. I can actually change my bandages now. Okay, let's do that. We'll take the dirty bandages off then. Oh, look, it made the bleeding go away. That's good. Well, since we've already got the minor cut... Oh, it's got 10 whiskey in it? Holy shit. 
That's a really, really good whiskey bottle. I don't think I've ever seen one with 10 whiskey inside of it. That's a really, really big deal in case you were wondering. Like, seriously, that doesn't happen very often. Let me equip myself real fast. So these pants suck. Let's take the string out of them. And we'll wear... Which is better? I guess the khaki cargo pants are the best that we have. Put the dirty rags in a pile. We've got a makeshift rag shoe, but I think I'm okay with not using that right now. Instead, what I want to do is we're going to empty this out. And we're going to use the clean band-aids on all of these wounds here. There we go. And so those should get better over time, hopefully, if we get really, really lucky. Now, we do have whiskey. I'm going to get rid of the squirrel. I don't see any reason that I should be carrying the squirrel around with me. I guess it could make with dinner. If we actually camp on this spot, we'll probably make a dinner out of it. But Oh, wow. We actually got antibiotics, too. We've got amoxicillin. That's kind of a big deal as well. There's a number of things here that are kind of a big deal. I'll probably put the dirty rags in there just so I can clean them up later. And we'll put some tin foil in there. Later on, I bet you can make like a tin foil blanket or something. I need to make myself one of those traps, the noise traps, so that if somebody comes around my base, I don't die. And so let me see if I can do that real fast. I think that that would be incredibly, incredibly useful. So let me see if I can run through my crafting list here with the good old control F and see if I can find my way around. Squirrel snares. No, I don't need that. We also need, let's see here. I don't see the noise trap anywhere. Hold on, let me try. I can find this right now. There we go, the noise trap. I found it. We need a small, medium, rigid container, small, rigid parts, and a small thread. We can actually make that right now. So we need a rigid container, which I think we just so happen to have. Well, maybe not. We have one right there, but I'd rather keep it for water instead of turning it into a trap. The whiskey bottle won't work either. Damn. Hell, damnation, tarnation, and all other manners of old-fashioned swearing. No! He's got a monkey wrench and a... Oh, shit. So how do you just let him walk up on you like that? Like, yeah, sprint away as fast as you can. Like, go away from him. There we go. Just let him have the field. I think we're probably faster than him, and he can just have it. I don't want to get beat to death today. I would prefer to avoid savage beatings for right now. I was going to stay in the city, but how much stuff did I leave behind? Out of curiosity. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to go back. And then I dropped my shoe, too. While doing the run of shame away from my opponents, I left my shoe on the ground. All right, so we're going to have to go back. I'm going to hide my tracks real fast. Hide my tracks. Hide my tracks. There we go. Hopefully keep us a little bit safer. We're starting to sweat because the universe hates us. I think, no, I'm just, I'm just joking around. I'm going to bring, I got to bring the string with us though. Both the small and the large so that we can make ourselves. Oh, look, the squirrel converted into, really, more cona, cornicola, huh? All right. Well, let's go ahead and we'll throw some of these random kindling items in here. Our flip-flop fell off again, too, which is increasingly enjoyable. Let's throw the med kit on there. Obviously, we should probably stack up with everything that we can carry because you can sell it when you get to certain vendors. So having big, huge piles of crap laying around your inventory can actually be a legitimate strategy for trading. I'm going to hide my tracks real fast. I don't know if I should sleep right here because we know where that guy is. I may sleep in this forest over here. Let me hide my tracks real fast. Okay, so it's nighttime. I'm going to try and scavenge up a stretch of forest. Is that lighter? Oh, the lighter's actually doing pretty well. There we go. We need to get ourselves some form of dinner that we can shove into our gob before we go anywhere else. Those are edible. All right, thirst is looking pretty good. Probably store that in a water bottle for later. Not going to make a fire. Not gonna make a fire for right now. No, oh, my right shoe fell off. Damn it. I have the worst luck with that right shoe. That damnable right shoe. I might actually just drink the bad water. We have amoxicillin with us, so it might... I don't know. Amoxicillin being with us might be helpful. Let me move that to right there, and I can actually store that in there. We may want to make a weapon in case we get ourselves caught in a fight. That's what I'm really worried about at the moment. If we get into a fight, we have no way to protect ourselves. We don't have a knife or a shiv or anything, so... 
I feel like I should probably make my customary spear that I always do at the beginning of these runs. What is that? A patchwork hide tunic. Ten small pa uh, ten small pelts, twenty small thread. You can make a hide tunic. Just in case you feel like looking like a caveman to match the technology of the day. I've got one move left. Maybe I shall Yeah. That might be a decent plan for right now. Like, maybe shove that in there. I'm not going to make a fire, because I don't want to get myself in trouble. But we can make a broad spear, which will work out just as well. And so we've got a broad spear right there. We'll make use of it. My shoe fell off again. Damn it! Me and this shoe, I swear. Alright, so no fires will be started right now. However, I will throw some kindling into the back of our little cart. Maybe the scrap of paper, too, because you never know how useful that's going to be. I suppose I'm going to take a chance and sleep right here. And hopefully the enemy, yeah, somebody came up on us while we were sleeping. Ditch my vehicle. And we'll get back up. It looks like the enemy tried to escape from us. I think. We're not well rested, but we're still all right. I may actually travel through the night. I don't think we need to be that rested. I don't like being in this situation. Nighttime has become increasingly dangerous for me. Maybe move to a different forest and then like crash right here or something. There we go. Player had trouble sleeping. I can deal with that. Let's go ahead and use Batani and also our lighter to make it a little bit safer. We made a bunch of noise though, so those are poisonous. Those are edible, though, so we can eat that. We need a receptacle to boil our water in before we can get any further. For right now, I'm just going to risk it, and we'll live with it. We don't. I'm not seeing anything coming through. We went to sleep, and it's been a while since our last issue. Or I'm sorry, it's been a while since our last bad water that we drank. I don't know how long it takes for that to surface, but either way, not enough moves to craft. Of course not. Of course not! Into the floor. Oh, good. Alright, well, let's just leave. I don't want to fight anything right now. We do have a weapon, which is slightly more suitable than not having a weapon, but still. I haven't used the broad spear before, so I prefer to just kind of, like, keep it on the D-low right now. Oh, good. We got a bunch of stuff from here. Hell yeah. Eat all those right now. As many as you can shove in your mouth. Mmm. Delicious blueberries. Delicious poison berries. Mmm. You're so delightful. Okay, so let's fill up all of our water receptacles right now. I'm so stoked that we have whiskey. How are our wounds doing, by the way? Are they looking okay? Hopefully we feel better pretty soon. We got kind of banged up at the beginning of the game. End our turn right here. I will probably scavenge from right here for a future food supply. Not going to use up my lighter. I think all we got is Agaric is Bisperus, but I won't complain about a good thing. Those can go in our inventory. We'll save them for later. As of right now, what I need to do is make lockpicks in case we get to another... Oh, I already have lockpicks. Oh, never mind then. I don't know why I was trying to make lockpicks then. Meh. We haven't actually, like, come across a lot of territory right now that can be scavenged. Weirdly enough, there's not a bunch of cities around. I wish that there was. Damn it, you're gonna make me play with both hands again. Alright, both hands, in we go. I was trying to be efficient and play with one hand, but I guess the universe just doesn't like that. We've got a shack in the forest. And it looks like all we got out... Oh, binoculars with a strap, actually. I was about to complain, but you know what? Not bad. I'll take binoculars with a strap. That's a pretty decent item, especially since it cancels out our myopia. So, that'll be good. That'll work out for us for right now. I, I wish we had gotten something better, but you know what? Oh, good. The dog is here. Let me ditch my vehicle real fast. There we go. We one-shotted the dog. The player shredded the feral dog's lower chest with a broad spear stab. It died due to bleeding in its lungs. Shouldn't have attacked me. That's the big, that's the real, real big mistake that the dog made. It attacked me while I was wielding a spear. And so let's actually chop him up real quick for anything that might be useful later on. We can get some chunks of fur. We have a vehicle with us, and I think the meat should hold for a little bit, so we might be all right. Since we dished our vehicle, it's going to be, if it goes bad, it goes bad. But if it doesn't, it doesn't, and we'll be able to use it later, so that's nice. We can scavenge here at this storage shed. 
It looks like there is something to be had. We found a couple of bullets, $250 worth of bullets, in fact. That's pretty good. An olive-covered hoodie. Yeah, let's throw that on real fast. We're not looking terrible right now. I lost my shoe again. Damn it. I am just always losing my shoes. I don't know what it is with this guy and losing shoes, but apparently... Oop, apparently we're scorching in the heat. Let me take my sweatshirt off real fast. There we go. We'll throw that on the cart. And that should help us cool down a little bit. Because we are overheating at the moment. Ooh, good. Abandoned houses. We can use lockpicks on those and it increases the amount of loot you get pretty substantially. I mean, it didn't help us right there because, you know, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Alright, so let's go over here. Looks like we got a meat cleaver. Not really that valuable. I mean, it's worth a lot of money, so I'll throw it in the cart so that we can sell it later. But as of right now, not actually the greatest bout of looting that I've ever had. I think I had tinfoil in there. Yeah, so we can actually segment that off. We'll take the meat cleaver out of there. We still need a receptacle that will allow us to... It actually looks like we found a fairly large city center down here. Let me see if I can scavenge in the forest for a minute. And we'll see what we can grab out of here. I don't think we're actually losing. I think we're losing like 2% off of our... Eh, did we get lucky? No, he's got a bunch of death caps. Okay. Well, I'll use those right now. And then I'll eat these two since we are looking a little hungry. Awesome. Eating roughage totally sucks. Like, I went on a... Basically, when I was in college, I stress eat a lot. And I gained like 40 pounds when I went to college. And so I decided I was going to get it all off once I got out of college. And so I always worked out, even when I was in college. But sometimes there's just too much Ben and Jerry's to counteract. Anyways, my point in saying all this is that eating roughage is the worst. I went on a salad diet. and salad diets, you're just always hungry. Just accept the fact that you're always just going to be starving. That's basically, it was weird. No matter how much roughage you eat, like you can eat like six bananas and an hour and a half later you'd be starving. It's just like the weirdest thing. The weirdest, weirdest thing. Alright, well it looks like we got nothing over here. I am going to use my lighter as much as possible to scavenge these in the off-brand hope that maybe we'll get something out of here. Oh, we got more whiskey. Cool. I mean, whiskey's really, really valuable in this game, so I, I would not speak disparagingly of the whiskey. If you can get it, you should get it because it's it's both valuable and useful for anything you might actually use it for. Additionally, we can put it on our meat before we cook it to give it a nice, delightful flavor and aroma. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but for example, when I cook steaks, I cover them in beer and then I put them on the grill. And that's just, I've done that for a long time, makes them taste good, adds a little bit of extra flavor. All the alcohol cooks off, everything smells all good, mm-hmm. Oh good, we got more stuff. What is up with all these left-footed shoes? Like, I almost said a left-handed shoe, and I think I made that joke already, but my point still remains. Like, what is up with all the left-footed shoes in the apocalypse? Like, I never find right-footed shoes. I don't know if that's, like, a bug or, like, an oversight, but it's like I never find right-footed shoes, ever. It's always left-footed in this game, even when I play by my lonesome. It's always left-footed shoes. I don't know if I want to bring along... and eh, we'll bring that. It's worth money if I have to sell it later on. So I'll fill this up with stuff. I'm going to get rid of some sticks too. But yeah, this extra stuff can be valuable if you can get to a township later on. I may try to make a noise trap pretty soon since nighttime is coming. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's see if we can make a noise trap out of some of the things that we have laying around. Unless I threw away all of my random bits and parts. No, I didn't actually. Okay, so let's throw that in there. You need a receptacle, a rigid receptacle. Like that one, that'll do. And then I think you need some small string, maybe? And then you might need the trapping skill. Hmm, the noise trap. Small rigid parts, small thread. A rigid container. Ah, maybe that's why. The plastic doesn't count. Maybe you need like a whiskey bottle to make it work. And in that case, I think both of my whiskey bottles are full up at the moment, so I'm not gonna... Not gonna worry about it. We'll just go off into the forest and... Ah, there's a guy over there with a flashlight. See, if I had a flashlight, my life would be a lot easier. Let's scavenge over here for a second just to see if we can find anything useful. Some red edible berries. Let me see if I can get my water situation taken care of. Alright. I think we're good for right now. I don't know if it's the... It might be the thing around my face that's causing me to sweat so much. I've also got like 100 t-shirts on. So I might take off a couple just so we can 
Maybe rip... I think these become dirty rags if you rip them up, though. I was going to rip these up. Yeah, you get dirty rags out of it, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping we would get clean rags, but there's nothing you can really do about it. So instead... Is that everything? Are those all poisonous? Okay, everything's poisonous here. I will once again use bad water, even though I don't recommend it. I would not... I don't know, maybe they've nerfed it, but back when I played, like, in beta, like... Drinking bad water killed you almost like 100% of the time. It always, if it wasn't purified, don't stick it in your mouth was the general rule of thumb there. However, you can sort of like eat berries and random things to get your thirst back up all the way if you get really lucky. I don't want to get the Amanita phylloides, but I will take the remainder of that foil right there because I know we can make something out of foil. I'll have to look it up in between episodes, but I know we can make good stuff out of foil. Like we can make like a foil cape or something, as I recall. Took us all day to walk up the hill. I'm going to hide my tracks. And we're just going to hang out in this forest real fast. I may scavenge one more time just to make sure that we take the edge off anything that goes wrong. We fell down a ravine and got scratched and bruised. Looks like we're bleeding again. Okay. And since we are bleeding again, I'm actually going to move that clean bandage to that one right there. And then that should like clear up all on its own. We fell down a ravine, if you're wondering what happened. When you're searching it, sometimes you fall down a ravine. Eh. That's part of outdoor adventuring, right? Falling down ravines? It's going to be nighttime soon, so let me... I'm just going to sleep, I guess. I feel like there's... how? Keep sleeping. Player had trouble falling asleep. Oh, we're shivering. Okay, so... Let me get my coat up off the back of there, and we'll put that on so that we're no longer cold. We're not very well rested, though. I'd prefer to sleep through the night if we can. There we go. It's hard for you to sleep if you're not comfortable. There we go. So now we're out of here. Let's go ahead and end our turn. And I think this is actually where I'm going to break off this episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Neo Scavenger. I look forward to seeing you all in the upcoming episodes. We might make it on this one. I don't want to, like, jinx it. I don't want to jinx it, but we might make it. Take care, everybody. Hi, do.